This video is brought to you with support from my patrons on Patreon. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital and today I have another layout update where I'm doing some wiring so I can get some trains running. Welcome back everybody. Today we are doing a layout update where I'm doing the wiring of the DCC system and we're going to get some trains running. I'm a little bit under the weather right now which is why my voice sounds a little different so we're just going to go ahead and hop right into this. I did have a few Kado terminal joiners lying around so I installed those first. But the rest of the feeders I would be soldering. I start by drilling small holes between the ties. I use a drill bit that is barely larger than my wire, so your bit size is going to vary. Next, I tin the solder points on my track. This will help make attaching wires faster so that there is less of a chance of the roadbed and ties melting. I then feed the wires through and route them through the holes in the baseboard that I drilled in a previous update. I keep feeding the wires through until only the stripped portion of the wire is showing. You'll notice that I chose solid wire versus stranded wire. This is because it's easier to bend and be firm, which is what I'm about to do. I bend them to fit them snug against the rail and then I solder them. I repeat the process for the second feeder. Now for the long process of soldering all of the connections. Now that soldering is complete, I can glue my track into place, and I use my old standby latex caulk. I put caulk underneath the track at the joints, and then I weigh them down and let them dry overnight. Once the track has dried, I can lift the base and begin wiring the feeders. Now this is an atypical base right here, obviously, and you can see how I built this base in a previous layout update right up here, as well as in the description below. I attached several wire clips to the base for routing wires. I then thread my 16 gauge bus line through these clips. I tie the wires off as I go. I leave a lot of excess because I'm not 100% sure on the exact length of wire that I will need. I will be using these little wire sleeves to connect the wire. They each contain a ring of solder. All you have to do is place your stripped wires in the sleeve, making sure they overlap and reach the solder ring. Then you apply heat using either a heat gun or a lighter. Just don't do what I did and hold the flame on the connector. This will burn it and it might catch it on fire. So hold the flame so that the top of it is about a half inch below the actual sleeve. Once you heat it up to a certain point, the solder will liquefy and flow through the wires. I set to connecting all of the feeders. Now it's time to install and connect the DCC bus. I'm using one of these EVE model buses that you've seen me use before, especially on MRR1. I'll put a link to one of those in the description below.
Once all of the wires are connected, I run a wire to the DCC system. Since I don't have my permanent system ready, I will connect it to my test system using these connectors. These connectors are really great, especially if you are doing modules. All you have to do is push the wire in to where it is nice and snug and doesn't easily come out. And then you have a nice little plug that you can connect other things. I'll put a link to these in the description below. Now that everything is hooked up, we can test. No matter how hard you work, you'll always have issues. So I go through testing each spur and siding, noting any issues that I can fix. I then decide to have some fun and run a long freight train for the first time on this layout. So there is an update on the layout. It is really exciting when you get to the point where you can run big trains like that and you're not just testing everything out, but you get to the point where it's like, okay, I'm getting ready to start doing the scenery and the detailing and that kind of stuff. So it's always really exciting to get to that point. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I wanna say a big thank you to all of my patrons. They're listed right here. You can become a patron for as little as $1 a month. You can check out that link in the description below. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe, be kind, and happy railroading. Welcome back. Uh, voice cracking because I'm sick. It's a layout update, and oh my god, my voice won't stop cracking. Uh, hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY. Uh,